Well, here we are again, another update really quick. Uh, this is 2024.27.25. That number sounds familiar. You probably watched my last video where this car got updated um, and so did our 2023 hardware for it. That got actual smart summon um, along with the FSD beta 12. Dot five dot four and lo and behold only about a day or so later our 2018 this is a hardware version 3 model 3 has actual smart summon now so this is the same release notes as far as i can tell of the actual smart summon come to me go to target um, like i tested in my last video which i'll try to put a card up here in the corner for you guys to watch that and then you can see here that this does include the new fsd beta 12.5.4 which i have been testing on our model y over here and it has been performing really well full self-driving supervised same usual disclaimer vision based attention now does include um the sunglasses as well so um somewhere in here i think I think it says it right here includes vision based attention monitoring with sunglasses right here so nice to see that and then again like we saw in the last software update video on the model y that you get this live one powered by slacker radio now which is nice to have now if we go into our settings here and then we click on autopilot you can see we follow the blue dots and we go down to actual smart summon which is already turned on and i wonder if it's turned on because i already turned it on in the same profile in the model y and we can customize summon similar to what the uh, customizations that we have in the model y a little bit different here because this is a 2018 hardware 3 car and it does not have the external speaker um, so i don't have the options to do the applause or um, emissions on failure or completion now same like the hardware version 4 car i do not have the option to turn off continuous press so from the app you will still have to have your uh, continuous press on so bumper clearance we have at 12 inches i think 20 inches is lower than what the vision only model y had i think it was at 20 inches let me know if you know down in the comment section below and then over here we have standby mode and we can turn that to on and we can say exclude homework or other favorites. So basically like if you're at a shopping center or something like that, then it's going to go into standby mode expecting you to use some ass to get your car over to you. Now what's really important is we got to go test this on the hardware version 3. So let's jump into a test of the actual smart summon. Okay, so here we are in the car. You can see, obviously I'm sitting in the passenger seat. Sentry mode activated came on as soon as I dialed up this summon. So now this is running the exact same software that the 2023 hardware version four model Y that you saw in my last software update video. So really impressive that they're able to update a six year old vehicle with the exact same software. This is a hardware version three, 2018 model three. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Target. You can see that we're parked here in this parking lot and I'm gonna say go to Target. I can't go out of that circle, unfortunately. And the circle is still much smaller, although this is now actual Smart Summon. The last software update did not show that. So what I'm gonna do is pick this point uh, kind of over here that you can see on the app and I'm gonna say go to Target, which is gonna require a continuous press and you can see instantly it has started up we do have a blue line going there um, and it's going to make this left turn left turn signal comes on a little strange i'm not going to lie sitting in the passenger seat being in the car while the summon is going i have that continuous press still going on here right turn signal comes on getting a little close to this curb over here but does a good job does not hit the curb carrying straight now about six miles an hour you can see that the speed limit is 15 miles per hour here on the center display so it should speed up a little bit but i have a feeling that right now it is limited to that six miles per hour going past this median right turn signal does come on very limited cars here limited traffic and you can see very smooth so after testing the summon that came out almost six years ago now the original summon that supposedly was not smart now this summon is smart and i will say that it is very smooth the other summon was very jerky so it almost looks like it's going to line up with the target point and then just kind of stop here um, so rather than traverse to the spot 
across parking lines. So it has a way better understanding of the parking lot itself and how cars should operate versus the original Smart Summon. I think that's the actual Smart Summon aspect of it. So then if we go and say our target point, I'm gonna put it right in front of this building here to simulate like, hey, we're standing there and that's our location. Um, and I'm gonna say, go to target. So you can see it is almost instant. I remember the old summon did take a second to start up. This is almost instant. So they've definitely done some, oh, a little bit of phantom braking there. There is no car movement or anything. So I'm not sure if the actual smart summon has uh, changed that a little bit in terms of how it starts up. S stopping again, pretty harsh. Okay, stopping really hard that time. Uh, it says stopping due to poor connectivity. So that is the same error message that we got in my last software update video with the 2023 Model Y. Again, it's stopping due to poor connectivity. I still have my thumb down. It has the right blinker on. It is not going anywhere. Okay, I've let that go long enough. I'm gonna release my thumb off, you can see there. And it looks like it does come out of the summon. So what happened before was I had to go out of summon. Now it goes into park. And then if I go back into summon, connecting, and now we can say go to target, which will put this target point right up here. The visuals are different with the actual Smart Summon. Now I can see the uh, 360 around. You can see here on my phone that I'm able to see the cameras around the car, which is nice. That wasn't in the last software update, although we did have Summon on this car because this is Hardware 3. I'm tapping Go to Target, simulating uh, a pickup point right in front. Gonna come to a stop here. Rolling stop, right turn signal on. Auto park aborted. Okay, so not good. Um, now it says connecting. So mid turn, auto park aborted. I have my thumb still on here. Um, now it shows connecting. It looks like it's still connecting. I actually wonder if my phone jumped to Wi Fi and that's why. Um, and actually, let's try this one more time. That's why it disconnected. Still says connecting. Okay, let's reset our target point, go to target. So not what we wanna see. I think it has to do with the connectivity. My phone jumped onto Wi-Fi, um, and then that interrupted the connection because it's requiring the continuous press. So another couple hesitations, and we can see that reduced speed due to poor connectivity on the phone and now summon is complete. Let's try one more time. We're gonna take it up here, do a target point near this end of the parking lot, and we're gonna say go to target. So it should just go straight down and hang a right, which it does, we can see by the blue line on the map. Making that right turn, not going over that six mile per hour we can see on the center display. It almost wanted to go over there, but it is following the blue line here, which does make a lot of sense. It should hug this right side to pick up, let's say a target um, that at, is at this point. So summon is complete. So it was able to do that. Now our circle is out here. So I'm curious to see um, if it will end up going, let's say out here onto this road, which I know before it only works on private roads. So let's, um, let's try to go to target over there. I wonder if this neighborhood road is technically a private road. So it looks like it's gonna come up here and hang a left. No traffic coming. Left turn signals on, full stop. It is hanging a left here. We do have a stop sign. So I 
curious to see if it will abort here before it goes on to this road. Hard stop there. Auto park reported. Okay, so now we get cannot use on public roads. So overall, it did a really decent job and I was impressed. Um, let's see now that we have it stuck this way, if we can say go to target in the parking lot, what it would do. Auto park boarded, cannot use on public roads. So basically it's smart enough to realize like, hey, I'm, I can't go in reverse um, to go back into the parking lot. I need to turn out and go around. So it's not gonna go onto a public road um, in order to complete the summon. Even if we go here, let's say go to target, and it basically can't do it, cannot be used on public roads, and it won't go in reverse, and there's not enough space to turn around here. So, so I am driving right now. Let's go into an auto park. Let's park over here next to, or pick one of these, right? And we'll start the auto park here. Now it should work within this area here to let's say pick us up from um, the front of one of these shops. Because this is technically a parking lot, there are no roads going through, unlike the test that we just did. Okay, go to target. Now it says preparing, and it looks like it is going to pull out and pick this way to go around. A little bit of phantom braking there. Don't hit the curb, please. Stopping for that intersection there. And then it looks like it is going to make this left here. It is going to say summon complete. All right, so there we go. That uh, worked really well. Now I'm going to try and summon it to in front of this store here. Go to target. And it looks like it is going to complete the circle and make a left up here. It's interesting that the air turns off like I'm not in the car, even though um, it's telling me to put my seatbelt on. But it, the air turns on when summon starts. Looks like it's gonna pull over on this side of the road, which I like, that was a nice correction. And there we have it, summon is complete. And you can hear that air conditioning turned off. So now if we are in, let's say, this point of the parking lot, go to target. I think it should, yep, it looks like it's gonna loop around. Pretty smooth. Again, I have never seen it go up above the six mile per hour mark. I have a feeling that that is um, a cap that they've put on it for now. Smooth left turn there. Left turn signal comes on. It is kind of pausing for this intersection a little bit before it continues on. And then it's gonna stop on the proper, oh. I thought it was gonna stop on the proper side. Now it's kind of cattywampus in the middle. Okay, and there we have it. So just a couple quick tests here. I Again, I'm excited for the reverse summon happening where you know you can just get out of your car at the front of a store and then pick a parking spot in the parking lot um, and have it go park for you. I think that is supposed to, according to Tesla's AI on X, um, that is supposed to happen next month in October. So that's testing the new actual smart summon with this latest software update. If you want to see more videos like this one, definitely hit subscribe to this channel. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Share this video with a friend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. As always, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.